Hey guys, I'm Perry Sterling. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a how to curl your hair video. This has been so requested since I got my extensions in. I didn't know how to curl my hair with an actual curling iron. Uh, curling iron, I feel like I grew up in like the wand generation, so I had no idea how to use this. And it was like my mission to learn how to curl with a legit curling iron, which I did. And yeah, this is the one, one of the two ways that I've learned how to curl my hair with this. Um, this is like more of like my beachy every day, just like super tousled, messy, go to 10 minutes out the door kind of look. Quickly before I get into it, my hair, I do have tape and hair extensions. So the natural length of my hair is like probably like right here. So, but the extensions, I have 16 inch tape and hair extensions in. So it just makes some... Um, a little bit longer. If you guys are new to the fam, be sure to hit the subscribe button because I'm uploading a ton of content starting today. And uh, yeah, here we go. Let's get on to the video. Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is brush out my hair. So normally my hair isn't straight like this. Like I actually never straighten my extensions because I just don't think they blend as well um, than when they're curled. And like, I don't know, I just like my hair a little, curled a little bit more. So when it's straight like this and I go right into curling it, I find that the extensions don't hold curl as well. So I like to add just a little something in them to kind of like dirty them up and make them a little gritty just to hold a curl a little bit better. So this is Triple Sec by Dry Bar. It's just a texturizing spray. So I just shake it up and just kind of go like this. Okay, first thing I do is separate it in the back into two, and then I will just tie one side off. The curling iron that I use, this is a Hot Tools one inch curling iron. Any one inch curling iron will do. You can use one and a half inch. The barrel size doesn't really matter. It's gonna change the, the size of the curl, obviously, but the technique is gonna be the same. What I want to do, I do two different types of curls here. I do away from my face and towards my face, and that's just so that it gets mixed up and it looks beachy and tousled and messy and not so put together. So with this piece of hair, I'm going to curl this one going towards my face. So what I'm going to do is I've learned that the biggest tip with using curling irons like this is to go with the way that the clamp naturally goes and like turn your hair with the barrel and never stop turning or else you're going to get kinks in your hair, which is what I used to get all the time, which is why I couldn't use one of these traditional curling irons because I, like, I don't know how to use these. So if I'm going to curl it towards my face, what I'm going to do is put the clamp in the back so you can see that you can't see the clamp and you're going to keep your wand held up like this whole time so your clamp is in the back run it through to heat up the hair and then i'm going to put it down about i don't know this far and then instead of turning it away from my face i'm going to turn it towards my face and then i just release it a little bit and just keep curling it in that motion until the hair falls out and that's how you curl it no kinks no anything, no nothing, just waves. And then I'll show you how I like to curl it towards my face. So let's say I'm doing this one right here. So instead of having the clamp face backwards, I'm gonna have the clamp face forwards. And then once facing forwards like this, you can see that the barrel naturally is gonna go like this. And that's also the direction of it going away from my face. So that's the way I'm gonna curl it, going away from my face. So when you're going away from your face, you wanna see the clamp, oops, Sometimes with my extensions, like they're thinner than the rest of my hair, so I just kind of lose my grip a little bit. Like right there, I just lost my grip a little bit, but that happens. So I just go back in and I curl the extension how I would regular. Um, but anyway, like I was saying, so when you're curling towards your face, you want your clamp in the back of the hair and for you not to be able to see it. And when you're curling away from your face, you do want to see the clamp in front. And then just keep turning it how you normally would and like how the barrel naturally wants to go. So yeah, then you have your curl going away from your face, and then you have your curl going towards your face. Can you guys see the difference? Um, so normally when I curl my hair, I just do it in big sections like this, and I start in the back. So I just wanted to show you like the general gist, but this is how I do it. So my sections that I take, as you guys saw, were about like one inch. Sometimes they change depending on the, I don't know, sections that I grab. Sometimes they're thicker, sometimes they're thinner. This one was rather thick but it doesn't matter. If it's thicker, I hold it on a little bit longer. But you just have to keep curling and turning the wand. Don't stop turning it. And then I just throw it behind my back and you get a little curl. So all in all, this takes me um, not very long to do. It only takes me about 10 minutes or so to do my whole head. Just keep curling 
So that's what it looks like. It used to take me like 30 minutes when I was like learning how to do it, but then once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quick. And I think that this curling technique really works well with all lengths of hair. I like the uh, pieces towards the front of my face to always be going away from my face just to frame it a little bit better. Um, as opposed to going inward. My friend Natalie's here and she's a queen of curling hair. Natty, come show your hair. That's Natty's curls. Take a, take a good hard look. What inch uh, barrel do you use? Like what, what One and tools? Four. And how do you do it? Just all in the same direction. That's how you do it. Which is what, away from your face? Yeah. How do you hold your barrel? Um, Up, down, to the side. I hold it down. So this is it curled. Um, because it was like straight, they're like falling out a little bit, but that's fine because I actually go in with a straightener at the end and I straighten the ends, but I just might not, not might not have to do that today, which is fine. So then I'm just gonna go in and spray my hair with some hairspray or a lot of hairspray. Okay, then I'm gonna move on to the other side. And I'm just going to do the same exact thing. How's the apple? It's so good. Good. Oh, I forgot to say this, but I think I should. Um, I curl all the way down to the end. I don't like leave any hair out at the bottom. Sometimes if I do, it's like not intentional. Oh, did she meet a man? Okay, so once we're here, um, your hair is going to look a little crazy. Then I take a hairbrush. This is a wet brush. And I just gently comb it out. It's very gentle. It's a gentle comb. Spray it with hairspray again. And then after you like let it do its thing for like a little bit, the waves will come back. And if you think brushing is like too harsh for your curls, you can just finger comb them. Um, then I take a straightener, which is always on, and I just go through and I straighten the ends. I'm not really going to do it today because, like I said, the whole straightening thing, whatever, you guys get it. But I just straighten the ends, and like any pieces like that are framing my face that just are curling in the wrong way, I'll just go in and fix up. But I also have a lot of little baby hairs like right around my face. So sometimes they like like to bulge out, so I'll just fix those. Okay, but then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll just zhuzh it up a little bit. Maybe I'll throw some texture spray in the bottom here just to make it piecey and messy and not so voluminous just in the middle because since I do have extensions, this is where the bulk of my hair is. I like to have it look pretty full throughout my whole head. So that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see my last video, that is right here. And if you guys want to see my sweat-proof makeup routine, that is right here. Love you guys so much. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye!